What's up, guys? My is Chaotic. Back at you guys, little one today. Coming at you guys with another substance review. And this time, we're going to be reviewing nitrous. So nitrous is, you know, one of those drugs that you can find at a, you know, a smoke shop. It's a very fun, light drug, basically. It's not too intense, but it can be. Don't get it wrong. If, uh, you know, if you huff in a balloon and you make sure you kind of, like, get some of that stuff back, as long as you don't waste the nitrous, you know, you will fucking feel that shit hit you all at once it kind of feels like the peak of a ketamine kind of dissociative trip because it is a dissociative trip a dissociative and it you know has a lot of history of use very very long history of use which is very surprising most drugs don't have that so it has almost over three centuries of documented use and abuse right so yeah probably one of the most safe drugs out there it's got even more studies i think or at least more information than weed but maybe not at this point but at one point i'm sure this had more documentation studies than uh, any other really any other drug other than alcohol but anyways so even then they didn't have that much information on the toxic effects of all that stuff but you know Nitrous was, you know, one of those drugs reserved for, you know, like rich folk back in the day. Basically, yeah, I'm gonna get into the effects of the substance and how it affects you, how long it lasts, because it doesn't last long at all. It's kind of like crack, you know? That's why they call it hippie crack. It's, uh, you know, it's not called that for no reason. That shit only lasts 30 seconds to a minute. I, I remember crack lasting. I even think I remember crack lasting longer than fucking this. Nitrous does not last long, but it can last up to five minutes crack high is kind of like the same but you know crack is not very comparable to this so gonna leave that out anyway so nitrous feels very 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 euphoric i would say like in the sense that it kind of makes you forget all of your worries it definitely does it makes you reset your mind in a way i mean they even use it you know still in the dentistry for anti-anxiety or you know pain it reduces pain it, it really is functional for you know a lot of other uses too, like pressure even. I think they used to use it for that. They might even still. You could probably get nitrous infusions, you know, just by puffing the gas at a doctor's office. I'm not sure if they do that. I have no idea. But, you know, it would make sense if they could or they did or if they do. But anyways, nitrous, you know, it provides a temporary relief. So for severe depression, it's probably not that useful. You're going to have to huff a lot of it over like maybe a few hours for it to be useful. But other than that, yeah. The nitrous, you know, takes effect immediately. Basically, like, the first inhale immediately starts absorbing, immediately starts going into your bloodstream, and then you start feeling a little lighter. That's that's exactly what it feels like. You even start feeling light, and then you feel lightheaded, and then all of a sudden, like, the fucking sound changes around you. It kind of warps sound and makes you uh, even sound like Darth Vader. It's fucking hilarious. Uh, yeah, I'll never, never get old of that. Anyway, so... Yeah, this stuff is pretty, pretty good tasting as well, too. Like, the gas, it actually tastes sweet. So, when a gas tastes sweet, you know, you kind of want to keep puffing it. However, however, there is a very, very major downside of this stuff. I mean, it's very addicting. You know, don't get it wrong. It can be very, very bad health-wise. Uh, it causes vitamin B12 deficiency, and that can kill you if it lasts long enough. It also, I noticed, when you're puffing all that gas, all the oil, there's, uh, there's actual oil inside these canisters, uh... That shit can make you sick, all right? And it can also make you not want to eat. It's kind of weird, so that shit's fucked, all right? So don't abuse it, you know? Just keep to a low dose, uh, low session. I would just keep to, like, maybe up to 50 max. Like, after 100 or up to 100 in a session in a room, you got to think of all the carbon dioxide and all the fucking fumes and, uh, you know, you're getting some secondhand smell in there. And, uh, yeah, it actually reduces oxygen levels or something. Like, eventually, you just kind of feel really lightheaded from doing it too much. And after I noticed, like, up to 70 to 100, at that point, you have, like, a hangover. So, in that regard, it's not good. And it's hard to tell whether that's from the nitrous or maybe from the whatever the oil stuff is that they use for the canisters. But I believe it's the nitrous. I do. And, you know, at that much of a dose, you know, you're taking up to 100 Whip it's at a time, uh, yeah, your throat's gonna be really fucking dry, and you're gonna be coughing a bit, and it's gonna feel weird, and you're gonna have, like, a bit of, like, a ketamine hangover. Have you ever felt that? Have you ever felt that? Like, a dissociative kind of, like, maybe, like, a little bit of a hangover, or, like, a leftover feeling the next day, like, maybe you lost sleep or something? That's what it feels like, and that's not good. That's almost, you know, vit vitamin B12. So, vitamin B12 gets deficient from 
hitting nitrous way too much. And yeah, that's just the bad side about nitrous. Other than that, nitrous is fine. You know, it's just, it's a, it's a good drug, but it can be very addicting. Like I said, I mean, it, it can still, it can still do it for some people, you know, with nitrous, you have the tendency to keep doing it, keep puffing it over and over. It's real easy, depending on how much you have on you to do them all, no matter what you're going to do them all. So it's kind of weird. It kind of starts a chain reaction where uh, you just can't stop doing it. And you're basically chain smoking the fucking canisters. And, uh, you know, you just don't care. You're just like, fuck yeah. I'm having the time of my life. And uh, it does feel that way. It does. It feels very, very fun. Yeah, no other dissociatives like nitrous where you can just puff it. It tastes sweet. And it just lasts that long. You know, you'd have to vape dissociatives like burning on a foil or fucking, you know, in a little vaporizer. But this shit... It's just ready out the fucking gas, man. Like, oh, it's the only dissociative I know that's a gas. Other than, oh yeah, xenon, xenon. Can't forget about xenon. So xenon and nitrous are two of the only dissociative gases I know that exist. And yeah, xenon is apparently way more expensive. And I guess it feels the same. So I don't know what's the point of that. Uh, I like banging for the buck. So I'm going to stick with nitrous. But xenon sounds fucking lit. That sounds like some ultra rich shit. Like, uh, you never know. If I get rich, man, who knows if I can source that shit. I mean, probably could. Probably give someone a little more money than they should have. And uh, there you go. You got xenon. And I got a video I can make. But xenon, yeah. I'm really, really interested in that, actually. Because apparently it's also non-toxic. And I think it's a little better than nitrous. Like, it doesn't have that vitamin B12 deficiency side effect. So, I think. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. Please. Please don't. But. I would think that it's a little more healthier than nitrous because nitrous is very, very, very known and documented to have that vitamin B12 problem. So vitamin B12 is a very, very needed nutrient in your body. And if you really fuck with that, your energy levels are dropped and you just feel like malaise. You just feel overly shitty. You know, just just please don't don't abuse it. You know, like I said, keep up to like 20 or 50. Don't spend too much on it because you're going to want to do a lot. So the more you spend, the more you waste, technically, because you're going to do them all one night, most likely. And then you're going to have a whole bitch ass hangover and you're going to be fucking fucking depressed a bit. I'm serious because that shit, vitamin B12, it's very important, man. You never know if you're already almost deficient in it. And uh, that's a little. And, and then obviously the nitrous would be enough to tip you over the edge into deficiency. So just be careful. But other than that, nitrous, you know, it's very, very good for actual psychedelic trips as well. So. Uh, it's very good combination. I don't know what's like. It's like psychedelic tofu, depending on, uh, you know, what drug you're doing. But if you're sticking to psychedelics, it is, you know, uh, psych substance said that it's like psychedelic tofu nitrous with psychedelics. And that's very, very, very true. Now it, it does definitely enhance the visuals and all the other stuff. And it definitely enhances the body high of a psychedelic. And it, it just almost kicks in the psychedelics. So maybe if you took a lower dose of one, and you hit the nitrous, boom, you're back on like almost double that dose. It's almost like you doubled the dose of the psychedelic, but all you did was hit nitrous. That's what it feels like. And that's what it looks like. It enhances the visuals. Man, it just makes the psychedelics last longer, if you know what I mean. So like when you're past the peak of a psychedelic trip, if you hit nitrous, you're back on the peak. I'm serious. That's one of the best things about nitrous right there is that it, it actually extends other drugs. It actually makes other drugs fun. Like GHB. GHB and nitrous, man, that shit was fun. That shit enhanced the nitrous because both are technically sort of dissociative yeah that shit was fun nitrous on a dissociative too that shit can get pretty fucking crazy too and uh it feels really really awesome and nitrous in weed feels great it makes the weed even better to feel like it just makes it more comfortable and yeah i, I don't ever find one combination with nitrous that was bad honestly all drugs go with nitrous even opiates yeah like i did fucking oxy and odsmt and fucking yeah, those kind of things on nitrous, and the nitrous never fucking killed the high. It actually most likely enhanced it, but it's it's been a while since I've done it. But yeah, from what I remember, it definitely enhanced the opiate even and was still effective. However, you know, the opiates are so strong, they still do have sort of a you know dominating effect. So they kind of tamper with the high a bit, but, you know, just put two whippets in there. There you go. You don't got to just hit one, hit two when you got circumstances like that, and then you're just high as ever. So yeah, it's just really interesting how nitrous is like one of the weirdest kind of drugs out there. It's literally, yeah, there's three atoms that make nitrous up. It's probably one of the shortest chemical like structures I've ever seen. It's just two nitrogen atoms, one oxygen atom is nitrous. It's just fucking awesome. I just, I don't know why 
chemistry is fucking sick to me. I never was good at it, but honestly, that shit's fucking awesome. Like, that's all it took to make nitrous? Wow. And that shit exists naturally in the atmosphere, too. So it's like, damn, we have a drug, uh, an actual recreational drug that exists naturally in the atmosphere at, at, like, diluted levels, so it can't get as high. But imagine that shit was strong. Imagine if there's a planet where it's just full of fucking N2O. That shit would be fucking crazy. So, like, you take off your fucking helmet or something, and you're just, like, instantly dissociated. You probably pass out, bro. But, yeah, just imagine there's probably some planet out there in the universe that just has a greenhouse effect of nitrous all over the planet. So, the whole planet's like a drug. Now, that's some trippy-ass shit, dude. I bet that exists. Like, I would not be surprised if that was found and at least the next century. And they probably harvest it. They'll probably be like, hey, we're gonna fucking mine the nitrous. I don't know how they do that, but they fucking... Man, you know motherfuckers would fucking be all over that planet. <laughs> so, yeah. Nitrous is pretty fucking interesting. It's a gas, and it's a natural gas. So, and it's a drug. So, very fun drug, all right? You know, but don't get into a habit of doing it too much. Like I said, you can die. But however, you can also supplement with vitamin B12 to, you know, negate that effect. Although... Even if you're supplementing with vitamin B12, it actually creates a deficient neurochemical creation of vitamin B12 as well. So in your brain, yeah, whatever synthesizes vitamin B12 will be turned off depending on how long you, you know, abuse nitrous. So yeah, just because you're using vitamin B12 supplements actually does not keep this from happening either. So it only kind of helps you right there. But again, you still have to, you know, have harm reduction there. Uh, don't go all over the edge with that shit. But, you know, keep that in mind, you know. Don't hate nitrous too much. Take it from me every time. Like, seriously, I could do a 50, but after 50 in one night, in one setting, in a few hours, man, if I'm doing that shit for more than a few hours, I have a bit of a hangover. I don't know what it is. And I have, you know, equate it to that vitamin B12 kind of come down. And either way, it starts to come down because, you know, it's kind of like crack, you know? Like, you just can't hit something that doesn't last long and keep it hitting it, and it keeps crashing, keeps hitting, keep, keeps crashing, and uh, you not have a come down. That's just kind of how that works. That's the trade-off, you know, with drugs. You know, some drugs will always inevitably have a come down. It is the trade-off. So, again, if you're going to be using drugs, got to keep in mind that some are just going to be coming down. Anyways, you know, but all drugs come down. I'm sure you guys know that. But with nitrous especially, it's got a bit of a fucking hangover and a come down. But other than that, it feels good. Okay. Feels good. It is addicting. Please don't use it. Don't use this as a video to, you know, get started in it. It's just more of a review of the substance in general and all the harm reduction, safety, and measures that you should implement. And it's really the same as every other drug. Okay. Don't do too much. Stick with the low dose. Stick to a low amount. Don't fiend. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay high, stay lifted. And we just hit 2,000 subs, man. So I just really got to congratulate everybody here. You know, we're making a big community and we're coming hard on this platform. Hopefully we can get it popping a little more. So please join the harm reduction discord link in the description. So please let's get it popping. But we have over a hundred members now in our harm reduction discord and we're getting it popping. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy it again. Thank you for 2000 subs. There is a 2000 subscribers special coming. So, you know, stay tuned. Peace out and I'll see you guys in the next one.